the fastest and most thoroughly grounded in physiology and neuroscience for calming down in a self-directed way is what's called the physiological sigh, S-I-G-H. The physiological sigh is something that humans and animals do anytime they are about to fall asleep. You also do it throughout sleep from time to time when carbon dioxide, which we'll talk about in a moment, builds up too much in your system. And the physiological sigh is something that people naturally start doing when they've been crying and they're trying to recover some air or calm down, when they've been sobbing very hard, or when they are in claustrophobic environments. Physiological sigh is something that we do spontaneously, but when you're feeling stressed, you can do a double inhale. long exhale. The reason is the double inhale exhale, which is the physiological sigh, takes advantage of the fact that when we do a double inhale, the little sacs in your lungs, the alveoli of the lungs, your lungs aren't just two big bags, but you've got millions of little sacs throughout the, the lungs that actually make the surface area of your lungs as big as a tennis court. It's amazing if we were to just spread that out. What, those tend to collapse as we get stressed and carbon, di uh, carbon dioxide builds up in our bloodstream and that's one of the reasons we feel agitated as well. So double inhale reinflates those little sacs of the lungs and then when you do the long exhale, that long exhale is now much more effective at ridding your body and bloodstream of carbon dioxide, which relaxes you very quickly. 